If you have used Python library Pandas for working with tabular data, then you might be already aware of the plotting API provided by it. We can create charts by simply calling plot method on Pandas data frame and we end up creating charts with just one line of code. Now charts created using Pandas plotting API are static charts because Pandas uses Matplotlib as a backend to create charts. But what if you are looking to create interactive charts from Pandas data frame? Well, to your surprise, Python has a library named hvplot that let us create interactive charts from Pandas data frame. Now hvplot is built with an aim to give same API as that of a Pandas plotting API. However, hvplot charts are interactive charts. Now hvplot uses another Python library named HoloViews behind the scene, which is famous for creating interactive charts. Now HoloViews itself is a wrapper around Python libraries matplotlib, bokeh and plotly. It uses one of them as a backend to create charts. By default, HoloViews creates charts using bokeh as a backend. Hence, charts created using hvplots are interactive bokeh charts in reality. So that was a small introduction to the library hvplot. My name is Sunny Solanki and in this video I will explain you how to create interactive charts from Pandas data frame using hvplot. We will be creating charts in Jupyter Notebook. So if you are looking to learn something new today, you have come to the right place. Stay tuned. Alright, as you can see on my screen, I already have a Jupyter Notebook open. And at the beginning of the notebook, I have highlighted important sections of the tutorial. So we will be creating scatter charts, bar charts, line charts, step charts and also table charts. So hvplot let us display pandas data frame as a table so we have covered that as well in this tutorial so let's go on and import some libraries so over here i have imported pandas hvplot and hvplot.pandas and i have printed the version of them as well now in order to use hvplot for plotting charts we need to import this hvplot.pandas okay so then it will let us create charts from pandas data frame using hvplot now we need to load some data sets so we need data to create charts so i have decided to use two data set for our purpose the first data set is wine data set now this data set is already available from python library scikit-learn and it has information about various ingredients used in creation of three different types of wine so let me execute this cell and show you first few rows of this data set so i have loaded the data set as pandas data frame and as you can see we have information about various ingredients alcohol malic acid ash and so on and the last column is wine type which is a categorical variable and there are three different types of wine class 0 class 1 and class 2 so this is the first data set that we will use for our purpose the second data set that we will use for our purpose is apple ohlc data set now this data set i have downloaded from yahoo finance as a csv file and uh, let me execute this cell and load the data set so i have loaded the data set as a pandas data frame and it has information about ohlc price of apple stock from 2019 to 2020 okay so this is the second data set that we'll be using for our purpose let's move on and start creating chart okay so the first chart type that we will introduce is scatter chart now i want to create a simple scatter chart showing relationship between two ingredients from our wine data set so let me go above so i want to create a scatter chart showing relationship between alcohol and malic acid so in order to do that i need to call hvplot method on our wine df data frame so hvplot is a method used to create interactive charts from pandas data frame if you have used pandas plotting api then you might remember that we call plot method over there and in order to use hvplot we need to call hvplot method so uh, i have called hvplot method on pandas data frame now i will provide parameters like for x axis i want to use alcohol column for y axis i need to use malic acid column and the third parameter i need to provide is which kind of chart i want to create so i want to create scatter chart so i will set kind equal to scatter so yeah that's it uh, uh, and this should create our first scatter chart so let me execute this cell and show you the result yeah so as you can see we have our first scatter chart ready and we are able to create a chart with just one line of code 
and this chart is interactive when i hover over any point i can see what is the alcohol and malic acid value for that point and there are other interaction tools as well which are available over here so this was the one way of creating charts now there is one more way of creating chart using a tree plot so over here we provided like kind equal to scatter parameter but if we want to create a scatter plot then we can call one more method on HV plot, which is named scatter. And there is a method names for each different bar chart, different chart types. For bar chart, there is a method named bar. And for line chart, there is a method named line and so on. So this way of creating charts, I personally prefer because I know that I am creating scatter chart and I don't need to specify any kind parameter if we use this way of creating chart. So let me execute this cell and show you the result right so as you can see this chart looks exactly same as our previous chart but we have omitted kind parameter okay so now the chart we have created over here looks uh, quite simple so we have axis labels which are just column names we don't have title and so on so let's go ahead and modify this some of the properties of the charts so what i will do is that first of all i will modify x and y axis label there is a parameter name x label i will set to alcohol there is a parameter name y label which i can set to string malic acid and there is a parameter name title which i can set to alcohol mosses malic acid and apart from this let's modify the color of the points as well so let's set it to tomato color and let's modify size as well let's set size to 10 and see uh, what is the size of the points and we can set the opacity as well using alpha parameter so i will set opacity to 0 0.7 and let me execute this cell and show you the result okay so now we have a new chart where it's again alcohol versus malic acid and okay so let me modify a point size little bit so let so it looks a little bigger okay and we will modify figure size as well so there are two parameter height and width which we need to set so i will set width to let's say 700 and height to 500 pixels let me execute this cell and yeah now this one looks uh, uh, quite better compared to our previous chart let me increases size of point little bit more okay so now this one looks quite better now there's a one more parameter which i find sometime useful so if you want to highlight some point using different color when i hover over it so there is a parameter name hover color which i can set to let's say dodger blue so let me execute this now whenever i hover over any parameter you can see the any point you can see that the point color has changed so yeah that was our uh, scatter chart showing relationship between alcohol and malic acid now all the all the glyphs of our charts are points simple circles but what if you want uh, uh, different marker types so there is a parameter name marker which we which you can set to different values like uh, s is for square so yeah now the points are all squares so you can set different values to this marker parameter you can set it to triangle and plus and so on and that will be the type of the points which are plotted on the chart right so before we move on let me create a one more uh, scatter chart so this scatter chart shows the relationship between alcohol and malic acid now i want to create a one more scatter chart which again shows the relationship between alcohol and malic acid but i want to point colors of the chart based on the wine type so we have a category of color variable named wine type which has three values class 0 class 1 and class 2 and i want to color each points based on that wine type so how can i do that so i will copy my previous code over here and i want to use circle markers now i need to make only one change to this chart so over here i just need to set color to wine so if you remember wine type is one of the column 
over here you see it's categorical column so i have set in our code value of color parameter as wine type so that is the only change we need to do so let me agree with this cell and show you the result all right so as you can see now we have points of our charts colored with three different color based on wine type class zero class one and class two so yeah that it's that simple to create a scatter plots using hvplot let's move on to our next chart type so the second chart type that we will introduce for our purpose is bar charts now i want to create a simple bar charts so i want to create a bar chart showing average value of one selected ingredient per wine type now in order to do that i need to create a one more data frame from our original wine data frame so which i have done over here and i have called this data frame as average wine data frame because it has values average values of ingredients for wine type and i have retrieved this data frame by calling group by method on our original wine df data frame so i have group entries based on wine type and then i have called mean function on it so what it will do is that it will retrieve the mean of entries which are grouped based on wine type so over here we have for class 0 alcohol average value is 13.74 for class 1 it's 12.27 and so on and we'll create a bar chart using this data frame now i want to create a bar chart showing average values of this ingredient flavonoids per wine type so let me copy our previous code and create a bar chart for you and show you so now in order to create bar chart we'll be using this data frame average wine data frame so let me copy it over and there is a method name bar for creating bar chart for x-axis i will set it to wine type so over here we have wine type column y-axis i will set it to flavonoid for color uh, let's not include color as of now we don't need size as well let's remove alpha as well and let's modify the over color to tomato so what this will do is that whenever we hover over any bar it will change the color of that bar width and height let's keep it as it is let's modify x label to wine type and y label to average flavonoids title average flavonoids per wine type all right so that's it let me execute the code and show you the result yeah so as you can see here we have our um, bar chart showing average value of ingredients flavonoid or wine type and when i hover over any bar i can see the color is changing to tomato yeah so it's that simple to create a bar chart we are able to create a bar chart with just one line of code though you can see more than one line over here but that is done for readability purpose so let me copy this code and create a one more bar chart type which is quite famous which is horizontal bar chart so sometimes you want your bars to be laid out, laid out horizontally instead of vertically so in order to do that there is a method named bar edge so i have copied our previous code and i have made only one change which is I have changed the method name from bar to bar edge so let me execute this cell all right there we have our horizontal bar chart as you can see by just minor change we were able to convert our vertical bar chart to horizontal bar chart so let's move on and create uh, one more bar chart type which is quite famous and that is group bar chart now i want to create a group bar chart showing average value of the selected ingredients for wine type so i want to see like what is the average values of this ingredient for each wine type so what i will do is that i will copy our previous code of bar chart and k we will again use average wine data frame because that's where we have average values for x axis it will be again wine type for y axis now this time we will give this list okay over color let's not use it because it won't be that useful in case of a group bar chart x label will be wine type y label let's say average ingredients now because we have more than one ingredients and title will be average ingredients per wine type so yeah we just made one change one major change which is over here for y axis now we are giving list of ingredient names 
earlier you were giving just one ingredient name which was flavonoids so let me execute this cell and show the result okay so as you can see now we have our group bar chart and whenever i hover over any bar i can see what is the average value of ingredient and below we have a wine type as well and i can see that uh, x labels are overriding a little bit so let me increase the size a bit little bit more yeah now now they are not overriding so yeah you can make changes like this so yeah that was our group bar chart now uh, let's move on and create a one more bar chart type which is more commonly used which is stack bar chart now i want to create a simple stack bar chart where i am showing average values of this selected ingredients wine type now these ingredients are same as our group bar chart but instead of putting them next to each other we will be stacking them on one another so what i will do i will again reuse our code for group bar chart and i will make just one minor change to this code and we will have our stack bar chart so there is a parameter name stack that we need to set to true and with this just one code change thus just this minor change now we'll be able to convert our group chart to stack bar chart so let me execute this cell and show you the result and let me modify this size as well with a little bit okay 600 by 400 looks good and here we have our stack bar charts now as you can see average values are stacked over one over another so whenever i hover over any stacked values i can see what is the average value of that ingredient for that particular wine type all right so that's that sim it was that simple to create a bar charts using hv plot from pandas data frame let's move on to our next chart type okay so the third chart type that we will introduce is line charts now we'll be using our apple df data frame for creating wine chart so let me show you first few rows again so as you can see we have ohlc price over there in apple data frame and i will be creating uh line chart showing close prices of apple stock over time using this data frame so let me copy some of our previous code and we'll make changes to it so over here we'll use apple df data frame now instead of bar we need to call line method for x-axis we'll use column name date y-axis we'll use column name close where we have close price we don't need this tagged parameter anymore let's keep width and height same let me increase width a little bit more let's set it to 700 okay next label to again date y label will be close prices in dollars and title will be apple close prices from 2019 to 2020 so yeah that's it and let me execute this cell and show you the result yeah as you can see here we have a line chart so it was that easy to create line chart and when i hover over line i can see like what is the close price for that particular date okay so now let me create uh, one more line chart so our first line chart had only one line what if you want to create a line chart with more than one lines so you have more than one uh, values present more than one values present in data frame and you want to create lines for all of them separately so in our case there are four different uh, uh, prices available open high low and close so i will create a line chart showing each one as a different line so for y parameter i need to provide all the four column names open high low close so that is the only change that i need to do to our previous chart and the rest of the thing will just work fine so let me execute this cell and now as you can see we have our uh, line chart with multiple lines and we have four lines representing open high low and close prices of stock and we can select and unselect lines from uh, legend and it will hide that line if we deselect it yeah so it's that simple to create a line chart uh, using hv plot 
so let's move on to our next chart type which is step charts now step chart is nothing but one kind of a line chart over here as you can see uh, there is a direct movement from one point to another point now in case of step chart the movement will be in step like fashion so i will copy our code of line chart where we have plotted close prices of apple stock and i will convert the same plot to step charts so i can do that by simply calling step method and the rest of the thing will keep same so let me execute this cell and show you the result yeah as you can see now prices are moving in step like fashion okay so let's move on to fifth and last chart type now this one is not a chart type but it's basically uh, displays just table in good format so if i display like our average wine data frame okay it looks like this and if i want to create a chart of it so let me go on average wine ef dot hv plot dot table so let me create a table from it all right and there as you can see we have table over here now i can specify width as well of this table so i will specify it to 1000 yeah now size has increased a bit as you can see width has increased and if i don't want all the columns let's say i want columns selected columns to be displayed say wine type alcohol malic malic acid and as let's say i want to display only these four columns so i can provide the column names and columns parameter as list so let me execute this and now as you can see we have our chart with just four columns so let me decrease width a little bit yeah now let's say that uh, currently it's sorting okay but if you want uh, values to be sorted based on a particular column so you can provide a parameter name sortable and you can set its value to true and that will also sort values now you can also edit the values of this column so let's say there is a parameter name editable and if i set it to true then it will let me modify the value of the cells of our columns as well so let me execute this and now let's say over here we have 13.74 let's say i want to modify it to 14.5 and yeah that way we can modify uh, values in the data but i don't think this will modify value in our original wine data frame okay so value is 13.74 it will modify over here in charts only if you want to do it temporary then you can do it by setting editable parameter to true okay yeah that's it all right so that's it for the day here is the summary of the charts that we have covered in our tutorial if you are interested in learning about more for hv plot then you can visit our website coders column and you can search for hv plot over here and we have two tutorials this one creates a normal charts like scatter charts bar charts histograms and we have covered four charts for in our tutorial but over here in this uh, uh, blog we have covered many different chart types and we have also covered how you can merge various graphs so over here we have covered like how you can merge more than one chart types as well and yeah and it, the second tutorial we have covers how to create a map so if you are interested in creating map charts like uh, scatter map choropleth map and bubble maps and so on then you can refer to this tutorial so yeah that's it if you liked our video and if you learned something new today then give it a thumbs up and feel free to explore our website or, and our channel as well we have plenty of tutorials on various python tutorials on topics like data visualizations ai machine learning and so on so see you next time